Hey everyone, how are you? And if you are new to my channel, then welcome. Today's video is going to be my lifestyle and mommy favorites for January. I just filmed my beauty favorites, which is why I'm wearing the exact same thing as my last video. If you guys didn't know, I do like to break up my lifestyle and mommy favorites from my beauty favorites. That way I'm not making a crazy long video. And I know there's some of you that would prefer to just see lifestyle favorites and some that would prefer to just see beauty favorites. So I figured I'd make everybody happy. And before I get into the actual video, I did make an announcement at the end of my last video that I do have a PO box now. I have gotten many comments asking if I have a PO box or not. I have one now. It's actually in my description box down below if you guys want to check it out. I'm not telling you guys to send me anything. You guys don't have to send me anything, but I did want to make the announcement officially because I have gotten multiple comments asking if I have a PO box. So I do. And if you guys do want to send me like a letter or something, feel free to send me a letter. So let's get right into this video because I'm starving and I don't do well when I'm starving. So we're going to start off with fashion because fashion is my favorite lately and I'm wearing my favorite right now. I have been obsessed with these chokers from Wet Seal, which I'm so sad that Wet Seal is closing down. I used to shop there all the time and I feel like I've been neglecting the store lately. And now that I'm finally using stuff from that store and buying stuff from that store, it's closing now. But I do love the chokers that they have. I feel like the chokers are very inexpensive. That was my only fashion favorite, to be honest. I have some other things that I've been trying out and wearing, but I feel like this really has been making a prominent appearance in my wardrobe this month, so I had to talk about it. Then we have two candles to talk about. So this is Bath & Body Works, as always. This is Mahogany Coconut. I love it. I don't know if they still have it because I got it on sale, so hopefully they do, but it smells so good. It's like a warmer, lighter version of Mahogany Teakwood. Like, it's not as intense as Mahogany Teakwood, but it smells just as good with a little bit of coconut. I don't know how to explain it, but it just smells so good. I love it. Then this one took me by surprise and I used the entire thing. <laughs> this is the Burt's Bees Island Nectar Natural Soy Candle. I got this from Publix and I didn't think it was gonna smell this good, but it smells so good. It actually reminds me of like, almost like bubble gum, like extras like bubble gum or whatever. Like it's fruity instead of bubble gummy, but it's still super, super sweet and intense and has like a hint of mint. That's the best way I can describe it. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it burns so quickly. It burns so quickly. I burned through this within like three lights, like three times of lighting this, it burnt. But I really love it and I feel like I'm going to be buying more because I really love the scent. My favorite show this month has definitely been Shadow Hunters from Freeform. I am obsessed. I watched the entire first season and it finally came back this month and I'm loving it. I love the new Shadow Hunters. I haven't read any of the books, but from what I can tell, this season is doing a lot better than last season and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. A lot seems to be happening this season and if you guys don't watch Shadowhunters, you should. I actually have two YouTuber favorites. I really need to get into <laughs> shouting out some smaller YouTubers. That was the point. Get it together, Casey. That was the point of having a YouTuber favorite was to shout out a YouTuber that is similar to my channel that I've been enjoying that I feel like need more subscribers or if they have more subscribers than me, I still feel like they need more attention. But lately I haven't been doing that and I apologize. We'll get back into that next month. But this month I have been loving these two YouTubers. They are brother and sister. Um, so Joshua David Evans, I think is his name, Joshua DTV. Love him. He was like Miranda Singh's husband or something like that and they got divorced, everyone went crazy. I didn't follow them like that, so I didn't know what the big deal was as far as that goes. Apparently they were uh, dating and engaged and married on YouTube pretty much for like years. I missed the memo. But I recently found his channel because he does sing and I've been obsessed with one of the covers that he did and I love his channel as well. I think it's very funny. And his sister, his little sister also made a channel and I'm obsessed with her, you guys. She's just so sweet sounding. Like her voice, you have to go just go to her channel and you'll see what I'm talking about. Her name is Erin Elise Evans. She's very like quirky and relatable, but very Southern. She has a very Southern accent. One of those voices you have to go check out, but I've been loving both of their channels. I think they're funny. I think they're great. So you guys should check them out. As far as music goes, so we'll talk about 
uh, Castle on the Hill from Ed Sheeran first because I've been obsessed with that song. I love Ed Sheeran. I've loved Ed Sheeran from like the beginning, from his plus days, from when I watched him in the House of Blues in Orlando when he was still small enough to be able to play at a House of Blues. Now he's playing like stadiums and stuff. I am so excited that he's coming out with a new album. I'm gonna get it, of course. And Castle on the Hill is my favorite. He also released like Shape of You or something like that. That song is great as well, but I love Castle on the Hill better. It like goes down memory lane of like his childhood and stuff. I will have it down below so you guys can check it out. I just really love that song. I think it's awesome. I also love Say You Won't Let Go from James Author. James Author's from The X Factor for UK, and I loved his journey. I did follow his journey when he was on The X Factor, and now he has this music, and it's just beautiful. This song is so pretty and heartbreaking at the same time. Like, it just depends on how you interpret it, which I really like, so I will have that down below. So we're gonna move on to some mommy and baby favorites. Um, these are mainly baby favorites because my son has been obsessed with it, but I'm considering it a mommy favorite as well because it keeps him occupied. So the first one I'm going to talk about is in my hand. It's this cookie jar. My mom got this for him for Christmas. It actually has a lid and it also has a back, but with anything that you give a child, things are missing already. So I don't know where all that stuff is, but my son loves it and it also talks. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. So, put in a cookie. Okay, so it talks like that and it has these cookies. There's like 10 of them, these little cookies like this. And you just kind of line it up because it has a little button on the box. You line it up and push it in. One. And it counts. Can I have another? And it asks for more. So my son is obsessed with it. I had to mention it because it really does preoccupy him. He takes it everywhere and that's why all these pieces are missing because he takes it everywhere. The other thing that I really have been loving and that he's been obsessed with is this Mickey ball pit that my mom also got him for Christmas. And he's just obsessed. I mean, he uses it all the time. I leave him in it all the time. What I did was kind of barricade the ball pit inside that big like child crate thing that I have, like the little fence playpen thing because otherwise he gets the balls everywhere. He likes to throw them everywhere, but he loves it. I think it's such a great thing to have. It doesn't come with a whole lot of balls in it, so you do have to buy more. We ended up buying like an extra pack of balls. I don't know how much it is, but it's fun as heck. And if you have a toddler, he will like it. So that was everything for my January Lifestyle Mommy Favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much. Um, I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys, really. This is what this video is all about. It's very laid back. It's very just chill talking to you about what I've been loving and what my son has been loving and all of that. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave it in a comment down below. And if you have any lifestyle and mommy favorites that you would like to share with me and with everyone else, also leave it in a comment so that we can check it out and just find new things. It's great to share with fellow mommies. If you guys want to check out my beauty favorites for January, I will have that listed down below. And also all my social medias are like listed right here if you would like to follow me on those. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.